<laughs> Yo, say your part. Night, night here. Yeah. And today's what, episode, you saw about we're. You yesterday? What? You saw that video I think you got today? Not yet. Okay. And today's episode uh, is Warehouse Horror Story, and I haven't done this in almost about months. Warehouse. Don't fuck with me. Do it for our fans, Nightfall. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, we were gonna do our intro and then you got pulled out for a second. Let's do it. I'd swear. Wait, no. Do it for our fans, Nightfall. Uh, Jay, you know that that the ending one. The first one is uh that as in the war. Oh shit! Right. Ding dong. Ding dong. Ding dong. Brought my lunch, boss. You here to buy me the food? No. Yes. Then why are you not here? Then why are you not using me going to it? Okie dokie. Alright, let's get this show on the road. This is something I've done in my teen years, and I absolutely regret doing this because, um, one... You don't know what lives in abandoned buildings. Or two, you don't know what you might find, especially creepy people, creepy things, or something that even looks humanoidish and might kill you. Oh my god. This is even this is was in two years before the clown trend became a thing. But you guys can go check out those stories if, you know, the whole clown thing, yeah, well, don't touch me, there you go. So apparently, when I was 14, me and my friends were all freshmen in high school. Yeah, we were pretty much just 14 years old, it was freshman year, and pretty much it was also known as Christmas break, so apparently, four and a half months in until school starts, it's December, basically, weaning, it's... I guess it was cold out, so me, who else? Me, was me, Leonardo, Jordan K, Daniel, my friend, aka Danny Diaz, Gil, Adam, Charlie, and Harry all decided, hey, let's go and. And I guess apparently. Me and Leonardo got the idea of why not go explore an abandoned building and see what we could find, and not knowing it was a warehouse. Right. 
Yeah, we were in a warehouse. Yeah, we pretty much explored a warehouse and decided, hey, why not, uh... <laughs> you know, uh, plus we thought it would be fun, and plus we would get the fuck away from our parents. So, not to think, yeah, I'm practical in thinking, hey, why not? And I guess it was kind of like noon and, you know, like, and our parents, most of our parents were at work, so it's Christmas break, we can do what we want and enjoy ourselves. Now, I'm going to cut into, I'm going to leave that in the thing. I guess we all brought flashlights, we had our phones in case somebody tried calling us, and this old, I don't know, I guess this couple is homeless and old as hell. And one of them has a baseball bat, the other one has a crowbar, and I'm just like, oh great, um, this can't be good, because apparently they meant harm. Apparently, my friend Leonardo decides, hey, and he throws a stink bomb at them so that we could get away. And I guess, enjoying ourselves? I guess it's more- What? I said I hate clowns. Everyone does. This isn't a clown horror story. And I guess the That's warehouse... Joker. Fuck the Joker. <laughs> yeah, so the warehouse was pretty much... We just jumped uh, out of windows, landed in plus... Landed on hard floor. And this lady starts screaming, and she immediately gets her hut, like... Because I guess the abandoned building was also used to be there. I guess they live there, they're homeless. I don't know. So, the abandoned building... Or should I say the warehouse? This warehouse we found out back then used to be storage for things like not vehicles, but things like like holiday decorations for Christmas and all that stuff. Well, not only that, I guess I guess a fire broke out years ago before we decided to explore it, and the lady somehow, when it was condemned, her and her husband lived there, and they have been terrorizing those who visit it. When we explored the building, we did see a pair, we did see a baseball bat, but we had to kind of hide so they wouldn't look for us. Not only that, I felt like, it, it felt like we were in a horror movie. It felt like that scenario. It felt like that, but, you know... We didn't drive yet, so pretty much we weren't really going to get out on in a vehicle. So we decided, hey, let's, uh, well, we had to run probably in an area that they couldn't find us. Because if they could find us, they'd probably either kidnap us or do something to us and... Make us scared. So, pretty much, I decided. I guess after. <laughs> she was kind of creepy, the lady. She had a baseball bat and she was wearing a, a nightgown. And this thing was. You could smell it, and it was foul odor. Like, I guess because, you know, you, when you're homeless, you don't have certain things. Well, you don't have a house, you don't have this, and not only that, of course the clothes are going to smell foul, and there was blood stains on them, so she must have killed somebody. Not only that, when we kind of took the picture to the police, they said that couple had, you know, they thought that couple died, but when they kind of traced their names, they said that the grant that the lady had been wanted for strangling her own daughter. Bloody daughter. Yeah, I guess she must be a she must be a grandmother, and she kill she tried to kill her own daughter, and I guess from leaving the house. Uh, I mean, I mean, I uh, get it though. Like, I'm guessing, like when you're a little kid, you love your grandparents, and you, of course, when you're a baby, you pick favorites. But for a grandmother to go that crazy because she doesn't want her granddaughter to leave, I get it. But, you know, we all have that time where we have to leave and go home, but we can always come back and visit another time. It doesn't mean you strangle your own flesh and blood. Uh, who does that? Only a complete idiot. Yeah, I mean, 
complete insane lunatic would do that. Yeah, so far, I guess, not only that, up until this day, me and my friends haven't been back there, and now that we're all 21, we're just trying to be careful of where we explore, because you never know what you might find from dead bodies to creepy people. I'm going to be really specific now. I mean, we're all done with college, so that's it. My name is Jade, and I'm signing out. College. What? I didn't went to college, though. Yeah, you my name that. is... Yeah, because, well, not... Well, me and the guys that I went exploring with. My name is Jade, and I'm signing out. And night, night out. Do it. Do it for our fans. I'd swear, but standards don't let me.